released her latest single again, Head Tone, and it's more on the sultry sound, diba guys? Medyo sexy yung sound na yun. And of course, bagay na bagay sa kanya guys, Miss Janela Salvador, Woman of the Hour, the one, the only, Miss Janela Salvador. We were talking about your concert. This is Janella Reimagined, the 10th anniversary concert happening on April. So, could you let us in on some secrets? What can we expect said Janella Reimagined? Well, definitely, um, given the name, the title Reimagined, we thought of something that could perfectly describe um, what I want to show people right now. And I think even if I've been singing since I was in my mama's tummy or something. I feel like many people still don't know that I'm a singer. Many people know me more as an actress. And I feel like there are so many sides to me that people haven't seen. And so this is why we named it Reimagined because we want to challenge people's imaginations that I'm, I'm more than what you imagine. And I don't like to be put in a box, so yeah. Oh my gosh, yes guys, you heard it from her herself that we are ready to reimagine you in a different light and to see more of you and get to know you more with your concert. Congratulations, Janella. But ito guys, we have to congratulate her because as of 7 p.m. today, Platinum tickets are already sold out wow. for Janella Reimagine. Wow. wow, thank you so yes. much. Congratulations, I mean thank you. Congratulations to the Janella Sirs. The Mar Nellas, Josh Nellas, Jean Nellas, lahat na all of your supporters. Yes, thank you guys so much for supporting, especially this concert. It means so much to me because it's my first big concert. I'm really nervous about it, but I'm really working hard. So thank you so much for everything. Yeah. Deserve the deserve, guys. She's working so hard for us, and really, we are so excited for you for your concert, Janella. Thank you. But Pwede ba namin yung uh, journey mo dito sa showbiz, di ba? From uh, Nikki, tapos nagkumata ka ng Ike, ngayon dito sa Bayari and uh, Reimagine, di ba? Ang dami mong pinagdaanan. Pero uh, ikaw, how would you describe your uh, 10 years here in showbiz? Uh, wow, uh, paano ko man describe Well, it has been a really long time. Actually, I've been in the industry for technically 12 to 13 years now. This is just a late celebration of my 10th year anniversary and I'm very thankful looking back on everything. I feel like sobrang daming, daming kong opportunities and I'm so grateful for all of them and I'm grateful to still be here after how many years. Uh, how do I describe it? It hasn't been a smooth journey. Dami ko ring pinagdaanan and I'm sure you guys were with me sa lahat ng pinagdaanan ko na witness niyo naman yon. Um, but I feel like all of my hard work, lahat ng pinagdaanan ko, it made me into this person, the person I am today. I feel like I'm a lot stronger. Um, I'm a lot more sure of what I want, what I don't want. I'm a lot more sure of myself and I'm discovering so many more things about myself. So. I'm just grateful. Yes, and you're truly an inspiration, diba? Sa so, lahat ng mga pinagdaanan mo. Pero, uh, nakakatawa kasi iba na yung tulog mo ngayon with your music, pero hindi ka ba natakot with, with, with parang pagbababa ng uh, music mo? Hindi. Actually, sobrang excited ko kasi for the first time ever, ito yung music na gusto ko talagang ilabas. Kasi syempre, nung mas bata pa ako, my previous album, it's not that I don't like my previous yeah. music, but uh, I, I wasn't really in control of the things that I would put out before. Kasi nga, bata pa ako noon, uh, nung nag-release ako ng first album ko, I think I was 16 years old. Uh, yun, wala pa ako masyadong say kung ano yung, hindi pa ako sure ano yung gusto ko, so I would just go with the flow, kung ano na lang yung ibigay sa akin. Okay, sige, let's do this. 
That's why um, you guys saw me and uh, this new princess fan. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um, and I'm so grateful for all of that. It's just that ngayon ko lang talaga na assert yung mga wants ko. So ito sa music ko, I've always been into jazz. I've always been into R&B. Mga mas chill talaga na kanta yung gusto ko. So happy ako na finally malalabas ko na yung music na to. Yeah. Pero think about head tone and are you part of the creative process of head tone? Yes. Um, head tone, I wasn't, I wish I could say I wrote it, but I did not write this song. But the moment they, I did some listening. Uh, they presented some songs that they wanted me to record if I wanted to hear them. So I listened to a couple of songs and there are some that I turned down. But when I heard head tone, I fell in love instantly because it's the exact vibe that I've want. I, I, I've always wanted. I wanted to, to sing jazz, like I said. And so this was actually written by Kiko Salazar. From he has a new band now, a new jazz band called Day One. And yeah, they they were the ones who did the instrumentals of this song. And uh, with the vocals, I've been really hands-on then sa recording with Kuya John, si John, uh, Mr. Jonathan Manalo. Um, I've been really involved in the creative process of this album. So, yeah, I've, it's really all my hard work then. Grabe. And we're so excited to hear it. Oh Thank gosh. you. Yes, are you guys excited to hear it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Actually, the next question, in with your answer, you mentioned that you love jazz. So he asked here, your new single indicates some never before explored musical approaches like jazz and soul music. So where do you attribute these new influences from? New influences meaning yes. like the jazz? Yes. Uh, like I said, I've always loved jazz. It's something that I've always been attracted to. Even when I was very young, I loved the sound of it. I always knew that, feeling like in my past life, I was probably a jazz bar singer. Because <laughs> I really, really, it really speaks to me. And so I want to make jazz more accessible to the modern crowd because not everyone really listens to jazz nowadays. So I want to modernize it, make it sound more, you know, more today, but still give them the classic jazz element and instruments. Uh, how has your music evolved over the past decade? And, and how does this concert reflect that journey? My music has evolved a lot. Um, my first album, if, if you guys were able to listen to it, it's mostly like girly pop, uh, very teenager, teeny bop stuff. And, but I, I love them though, like some of them were hits, I, I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like along with myself, I've matured, so my music must mature too, so. Yeah, ito na yung mga new release ko ngayon. And in the concert, you're actually gonna see different stages of my life and my career. That's how we're gonna present the concert. It's gonna be like through stages. So, look at the concert. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, next question is, next question. What's the significance of celebrating your 10th anniversary through this concert? What's the what? Sorry. What's the significance, the significance. of celebrating your 10th anniversary through this concert? Uh, like I said kanina, not many people know that I'm a singer. Um, people know me more as an actress, so I feel like this will establish me more as a performer, as an artist. And singing and music has always been my first love, so I'm really happy that I'm able to do this now. <coughs> I feel like it's something that I didn't prioritize in the past few years because I did a lot of acting stuff. So I really want to focus on music. For your album. It's like it's It's very sultry. Yeah, it's, very, yes. it's a bit mature, like the theme. Siguro a song. One of the songs I'm going to sing in the concert are going to be dedicated for Jude. So yeah, surprise na lang. Okay. Promo shoots like Malyari promo overseas under Parallel Skies movie. Um, Jeffrey wanted to know how do you balance your work life, your work and life? How do you balance your time? Mm, I'm barely home. I actually just came from 
Uh, like three nights ago, I came from a festival in Lipa, then the next day I flew to Singapore in the morning, then at night I went home. So I'm feeling really, I feel sad that I'm not able to spend as much time with Jude. Um, but as soon as I get three days, I really make sure I maximize the time I have. I really just, kaya hindi niyo ako nakikita ang gumagala-gala kasi I really just want to spend the time I have at home. Um, yeah, I try to balance it as much as I can. Yes. Advice that you learned in your journey so far that you would tell your son Jude, what would it be? Um, siguro it would be to stand up for himself in the times that he needs to. I want him to learn how to assert his boundaries. I think that's very important in this industry that you don't let people step all over you. Um, and as long as you're working hard and you give your 100% and you're passionate about what you do, then you have the right to assert your boundaries. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm, I've matured a lot, definitely. Um, I feel like my musicality has also evolved from before. Ngayon, mas alam ko na nga kung ano yung gusto ko. Very hands-on na ako sa music ko ngayon. Dati kasi, uh, sila na bahala. Basta kakanda lang ako. But now, everything that, from now on, everything that you guys will hear from me, everything that I will put out in terms of music, lahat yan talagang pinusisi ko. Um, so yeah, right now I'm very hands-on. That's the difference. Dream mong maka collab or maka sa concert? Dream kung maka collab yeah. na hindi ka sa concert ngayon? Or... Yeah. Mm. Sayang kasi umuo na sa akin si Ate Rich noon na mag guest sa concert ko kaso nagsabay yung concert namin. So. Next time na lang. Pero si Ate Ridge talaga, I was hoping. Uh, and my second question. Sa 10 years mo sa industry, ano yung achievement mo na talagang gusto mo at ngayon nasa yun na and pinifeel mo na siya? Sorry, what's the question? Uh, sa 10 years mo sa industry, ano yung achievement na talagang gusto mo at ngayon nakuha mo na siya? Mm. Eh, siguro itong concert. Um, I feel like I've been working my entire life for this, but it's something that I knew it was gonna come eventually. I was hoping and praying. So, ito na yon, finally magagawa ko na siya, and hopefully my hard work pays off. The first question is, uh, uh, what would you say are three key moments in your career that, would, that led you to finally putting this concert together? Wow. Grabe ah. Grabe question. Siguro... Baka di ko napag-isipan yun na. That's a good question. Siguro, the first moment would be... Siguro multiple moments siya. Because when I was a kid, my mom would really take me to all her gigs, her concerts. Um, Tapos nasa isang sulong lang ako, tapos pinapakanta niya ako, and I was, I would be so nervous. But she pushed me because she knew that I really love to sing. Kaya hanggang ngayon tingnan niya sobrang awkward ko kasi nga lagi ako kinakabahan pag mga big social events. Pero yun yung struggle ko, I really love to sing. So I feel like her pushing me to sing in those little moments, um, those are, that's one of the moments na talagang nag-mold sa akin, mga key okay. moments. Um, second one would probably be... Siguro na success din of mahal kita pero <laughs> hindi ko siya in-expect. That was my very first Kimi Gandog song. They chose me to be an interpreter and I was 15 years old. I didn't expect that I would be as successful as it is today. And I'm very, very grateful. I guess if not for that great start, Hindi rin ito mangyayari sa akin. So I'm very thankful for that as well. Tapos, third moment. Hmm. Third moment would probably be the making of this album. Kasi, 
Siguro hindi naman din ako makakapag-concert ngayon kung hindi ako mag-release ng bagong music. And uh, during the process of making this album, I learned so many things then about myself na kaya ko pala to be in control of the things that I put out. Kaya ko pala talaga i-assert yung mga gusto kong marinig, gusto kong ilabas sa mga tao. Uh, I feel like it gave me more confidence to do even to make even more music in the future. So, yeah, that was great. Paano ko ba yung review? Hindi <laughs> ko rin alam. Snap pa lang tapos nandun na char. Yes. Oh. So, ano ba? I think na-reveal naman na lahat ng guests sa social media. Yes. But, um, obviously, we're gonna have... We're gonna have Darren. Yan! Ayan pala. We're gonna have Darren. He's one of my great friends. Um, from ASAP, lagi ko siya nakakasama. Um, si Sir Martin, Tito Martin, he's the sweetest. I'm so glad to have him on board. Um, Marlo, ayan na, Marnella Raven yan, kasi maraming nagdademand. Um, I'm excited to perform with Marlo as well. Tagal ko na siyang hindi nakakasama. My mom, of course. Ah, grabe, kinakabahan ako kasi tuwing nagpo-perform kami together, para parang kinakabahan. Um, and of course, with my support for the LGBT community, I love, I'm in love with all the queens, the drag queens, so I'm so happy to have them on board. See Arizona Brandy, see Brigading, which I was with in Omaji, um, see Lady Morgana, and see Miss J. So, ayan. So exciting, and of course, di ko pa pala nababanggit, ang dar na ko, si Jane De Leon, makakasama ko din. So yeah. You know, my guests go for the concert. Ooh, I hope that excites them even more for April 19, 2024, guys. Kaya, noot kayo, Yes. Kaya, kayo. Yes. Okay. So, like. Oh my gosh, guys, did you like it? Yes. yes. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Oh my goodness. Well, that was very shocking. But of course, congratulations again, Miss Janelle. Okay, I mean, trigger warning. Yes, trigger warning. And guys, Alam natin yung effort ni Janela, gumawa pa siya ng PowerPoint for that. And I co-directed this as well. <gasps> Congratulations! <laughs> so beautiful. Thank you. And of course, um, we would like to acknowledge Direct John Mall, who is here with us tonight. He is the one directing Hi, our concert. Yeah. Yes, yes he's, he's gonna be directing my concert. Thank you so much, Direct. Oh my gosh, you guys. But of course, before we end tonight's media con, Janela, a quick recap of everything that's going down. Of course, the music video will be released on March 22. Yes, and of course, the second or soon upcoming music will be released when? Wala pa. Wala pa. Wala pa. Abangan na lang. Okay, abangan guys. Follow at Super Janela for updates. Yon. Of course, Star Janela, Music. Yes, and Star Music as well. Of course, Janela Salvador, be imagined April 19 at the New Frontier Theater and Under Parallel Skies. So when is the showing of Under Parallel Skies? Yes, um, Under Parallel Skies, my movie with Win Meadowin and direct, directed by Derek Sigrid Bernardo, is gonna be showing on April 17. So that's two days before my concert. So I hope you guys support both the movie and my concert. It would mean so much to me. Uh, yeah, sana abangan niya. So guys, we're all updated now with Janela.